welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video, we are going to learn the basic mathematical operators and the order of operation Excel follows when we have multiple mathematical operators. So let's get started. Let us start with the real basic operators the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication and the division. So I have written few numbers here for which we are going to calculate using each of these operators. So first let us see if you want to calculate or if you want to add these two numbers in general what you would do is start with an equal to symbol because in Excel when you enter the equal to symbol Excel understands that you are going to perform a calculation. So always start your formula with an equal to symbol. So once you enter the equal to symbol, you would enter the number you want to add, insert an addition symbol and enter the next number you want to add that is 6 plus 5 and then press enter. So that would give you the answer. But this is a bit time consuming. So to save time, what we can do is start with an equal to symbol Select the cell that you want to add, insert an addition symbol and select the next cell that you want to add and press enter. And that makes your calculation super fast and super easy. Now even if you change a number here, that is in the source cell, let's say I change it to 7 and press enter, you can see the formula automatically captures the revised number and gives the answer according to it. So this is a wonderful feature. Next, let us see how to do the subtraction. So I start with an equal to symbol. Select the number, insert and subtraction symbol and select the next number that I want to subtract. Press enter. So you can see Excel has calculated the subtraction. Next we have the multiplication. So how would you multiply? Start with an equal to symbol. Select the first number. Insert an asterisk symbol. This is the symbol which Excel uses for multiplication. Select the next number you want to multiply. Press enter. And you get the answer for your multiplication. Next if you want to do a division. Again start with an equal to symbol. Select the number. Insert an forward slash. The forward slash is used by Excel for calculating the division or for performing the division. Select the next number and press enter. That would divide the numbers you have selected. Now the calculation was very easy when you had only one mathematical operator. But what if you have to perform all of these together? How would you do that? So let's see, here is a simple exercise for you. I have written 5 plus 5 divided by 2. So how would Excel perform this calculation? If we do it in a normal method, what answer would we get? I would like you all to try out this. Just pause the video and give it a try. I hope you would have tried this. And if you got the answer 5, then let me tell you guys the answer is wrong. Now let's see if I insert the same thing in Excel, what Excel returns me. So I start with an equal to symbol. I write 5 plus 5 divided by 2 and press enter. You can see Excel has returned 7.5. Now you would wonder like how has it calculated and returned 7.5? Because in normally if we do 5 plus 5 is 10 and divided by 2 it should give me 5. But Excel has returned 7.5. So let me tell you the order of operation that Excel follows is the PEMDAS rule or the BODMAS rule which you would have learned in your school days. The PEMDAS is also called the PEDMAS rule because switching between multiplication and division does not give a different result. So this was earlier known as BODMAS rule. Now let us understand what this abbreviation means. So first, 
operations that are in parenthesis are done first. So you can see it calculates the brackets first and if there are any nested brackets that is bracket within bracket then the innermost bracket will be calculated first. Next it calculates the exponent followed by multiplication or division whichever comes first in calculation and lastly the addition or subtraction whichever comes first from left to right. Now let us get a level deeper and understand this. So I would want you all to try this using the PEMDAS rule. If you have tried this and if this seems difficult, let us do it together. So now let us follow a step by step process in understanding. So first it always calculates the parenthesis as we learn. So 4 plus 4 represents 8. Then it must calculate the exponent next. So 3 power 2 would represent 9. Next, the multiplication or division whichever comes first. So in this sequence, the division comes first. So 4 plus 4, we calculated 8. Divided by 2 represents 4. And lastly, the multiplication that is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 4. So let me write an equal to 4. Insert an asterisk symbol. And lastly, 3 exponent 2 which is 9. And I press enter and we get our answer as 36. So this is the order of operation that Excel follows. Now, here if you insert an equal to, let me insert an equal to before this. So when I insert an equal to here before the operators and press enter, you will see it also returns me a 36. So always remember, operations in brackets are done first then exponentiation, then multiplication or division and addition or subtraction whichever comes first from left to right. So this is about the basic mathematical operators and the order of operation that Excel follows. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for instant updates. See you in the next video.